What is up, my fellow gamer girls? And today, I'm going to be talking about the Devil May Cry games, and I'm going to be putting them on a tier list. Now, it looks like they got even different versions of a bunch of the games. Three, Reboot, Four, and Five. All they got, their regular and their special editions. So, I haven't really played DMC5 Special Edition, but the thing is, the only actual difference is it has turbo mode as far as I know so it's just obviously better just for that it's the same game but it's more and then the rest of them I have played so I can accurately definitively make this list it is objectively right even when I'm wrong I don't even care I'm right so we're gonna get right into it I lined them up one through five one two three reboot four oh wait no hold on Reboot came after four. There we go. So one, two, three, four, reboot five. So right now we're gonna be starting with Devil May Cry 1. Devil May Cry 1, 2002, I believe. Is this game good? It's all right. It's, all right. it's an all right game. It was really good at the time. I think the game's aged in a lot of ways. It's still fun. Now, I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about the game. I like the general combat, and I like the atmosphere. And that's, and I like fighting against normal enemies. The issue with this game for me is that I hate fighting just about every boss except for Nilo Angelo. That's the only boss I like in this whole game. Every other boss I think is absolute trash. I hate them. I don't like fighting against them. Especially Mr. Fucking Nightmare that's on the ground and everything. Annoying as hell just almost every boss in this game just sucks complete ass i hate him milo angelo's cool though so the game is also extremely short it's only like a four or five hour game one and two both are so not that that's a horrible thing but you know not my favorite so we're gonna put devil may cry one in the c tier C tier, I know. That's gonna make people are gonna be so mad. They're gonna be like, Logan, you're a piece of shit, you're a loser, you're a dumbass. These things are true, but I'm still right. So, Devil May Cry 2. Obviously, yes, I'm just fucking I'm just fucking kidding. No, Devil May Cry 2 sucks at, I don't even need to. Actually. Let's make a new let's make a new tier. How do I do this? Add a room below. Oh wait. Ah. Oh. Alright, whatever. F tier. That's where this piece of shit is going. Double May Cry 2 is the worst game I have ever actually completed. Most games, I if they're this bad, I will not get all the way through them. Double May Cry 2, I said, I really want to beat every Double May Cry game. I will suffer through this for the four or five hours it is. And holy shit, this game is fucking garbage. It is garbage. I, I cannot exaggerate how fucking dog shit this game is. It is so poorly made. The levels are too big. The graphics look worse than the first one. Um, the story is just not there. Which, to be fair, the first one's story was kind of not the focused either. But at least there was something there. Devil May Cry 2, I don't know what they were trying to do with the story. It is complete garbage. And they completely changed Dante's personality into being a fucking wet blanket. I don't know what happened. The, the pistols are overpowered. Every single boss and enemy you fight in this game sucks complete ass. And the thing is, the game is easy. It's not a hard game at all. It's easily the easiest game on this entire list. And it is... Oh my god, it is such a piece of shit to play. So yeah, that's why DMC2... Garbage. Devil May Cry 3 original version. This is the one that was super hard. And despite that, A tier. I love it. I love Devil May Cry 3. 
It's really good. But let's talk more about Special Edition. Masterpiece, baby. DMC3 is such a fucking good game. It is so good. It's not a perfect game. I do have some gripes with it. But despite that, I still think it is absolutely fantastic. It's a game that I can always go back to and have fun with. There's not a lot of games that are on that quality as Devil May Cry 3 is. It also has the best story in the series by far. It's not even close, in my opinion, easily. Um, the cutscenes are fantastic. The level design is great. The combat is a ton of fun. The enemy design, for the most part, is good. There's a few I don't like but really not that many like I don't like the I don't like the chess pieces that much I don't like the those blood enemies where you have to shoot them first I don't like the ones where you can only hit them when you're not looking at them like shit like that kind of annoying but generally every other enemy in the game I thought was really cool to fight so yeah that's where that goes original DMC4 B tier a good game but it's also an incomplete game I mean my opinions on this list aren't gonna be super deviating from most people's maybe DMC ones is a lot of people probably would have put it in B or A but DMC 4 it's a great game it's got great combat but it lacks enemy variety it lacks content and levels it just doesn't have a lot going for it in those regards DMC 4 Special edition. Uh, ah, this is hard. Should I keep it in B tier? Should I put it up here? Uh, we'll keep it in B tier. It is better than the original. It still suffers from a lot of the same issues, but. And that's a big butt. Like, giant ass. Just, just giant ass, I'm telling you. It's got more characters. That's pretty cool. And it's got a few more cutscenes for those character story modes. That's neat. So now you can play as Virgil, and you can play as Trish and Lady. And Trish and Lady, they... Is it Trish or Trish? It's Trish, right? Yeah. They kind of swap places in their levels the same way Dante and Virgil do. Not Dante and Virgil. Dante and Nero do. So, good game. Combat system, like I said, is really good. Virgil's a lot of fun to play as. But it's just got some flaws. They didn't add any new enemy like enemy types into DMC4. Um, so not not a ton better, but it is better. Reboot. The original version of the reboot. Where would I put this? I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this. Put it right there. The original version, I'll put right below Devil May Cry 1. I don't think it's a bad game. It's, I think it's lack of lock-on. And it, it, it's, some of its control schemes are kind of weird. The red and blue enemies situation is kind of weird. But overall, not a bad game. It really isn't. I mean, the, it shouldn't have ever been a reboot. If we're being to, if we're being honest, it should never never have been a reboot. I think if it was its own IP, I think they could have made a sequel to it, and it would have been generally you know fun to play because the game is fun to play. Devil May Cry reboot special edition B tier. It still goes below Devil May Cry Four, but I think it jumps up a tier. I think it's much better. They did add a lock on system. It's not quite the same kind of lock-on system as the other games, but I will say it does help with, you know, instead of clicking, like, flicking the stick forward-forward to do, like, Stinger in the original version, now you can just click R1 and forward, you know. It, it, it helps a lot of the controls be more consistent. They also kind of fixed the red and blue enemy issue from the original game. Not entirely fixed it, but it is better. So, yeah, it is an improvement still. Not as good as 4, by any means, but I think it's a solid game. It's a lot of fun. Devil May Cry 5, the original edition. We'll just put them all, they go on an S tier, baby. And of course, special edition would go just above it. 
Devil May Cry 5 is a near perfect game. I have very few gripes with it. I think one of the only gripes I have is I wish I could run through the main story as just any of the characters instead of being forced to play through the missions every time as that set character. I wish, you know, because Virgil has a campaign. He could go through every level by himself. So why can't I do that with Dante or Nero or V, you know? Why can't I have that option? I also wish there were more cosmetics in the game, but despite those few little issues I have, the game is absolutely fantastic. It has one of the greatest, if not the greatest combat system in any video game ever. The game is fan-fucking-tastic. There's a lot of enemy variety. It's a good length. The bosses are damn near all good. I can't think... Are any of them bad? I gotta think. I don't even know if any of them are, like, bad bosses. I don't think so. Um... There is... Okay, there is one I don't care for, but they're not, like, bad. There's that one, like, tentacle boss where it's, like... Has, like, it, the two knives, and it's got the big head guy in the middle, and they're, like, trying to attack you. You, pl you fight against him as a bee. Not a huge fan of that guy, but... Oh, and there's that gimmicky boss that's, like, giant that you fight against as Nero, where he's, like, stomping around the city and stuff. But neither of those are, like, bad. They just aren't good. Other than that, the bosses in this game are fan fucking tastic. The story is interesting. The music. I mean, the music generally in Devil May Cry is pretty good. But I love the music at 5. It is so fucking good. Also, I shouldn't have to say, graphically, it looks beautiful. This game is gorgeous. DMC 4 looks really good, but I think 5 is just a whole nother level, dude. It looks so good. Oh, shit, man. And it's just so fun to play. I can always go back to 5. It is so fun. Dante's got so many weapons he could mess around with. Uh, dude, there's like almost no end to the creativity in your combos and stuff. It is absolutely insane. But yeah, that's my tier list. If you liked the video, Royal Guard. And if you disliked the video, fuck me.